Do you have to servo motors, and you want to make them related to position and velocity? This relation between them called synchronization. To make synchronization, first you need leading axis that has specific position and velocity. Second, you need flowing axis that follow position and velocity of leading axis. Third, you must configure the leading axis as leading axis in following axis configuration. Finally, the two axis must be enabled by using MC power and configured correctly. MC gear and instruction used for starting relative gearing between leading axis and following axis. Let's start programming. Hardware configuration. we will start by choosing our CPU. After that we will choose our servo drivers by adding them from add device and choose the drivers that you need to add to your configuration. Here is our configuration you will find UPLC and to drivers. Add technology module, it may be needed with encoders. Now connect them as you see in video. Now we will start to configure our to axis. Go to technology object and add new object. Now we will configure leading axis. Choose position or synchronous axis as a lead and axis. Go to Axis Configuration. Now we will configure it. Go to Drive to choose your leading drive. In our case, it is Drive 1. Go to Basic Parameters. You can choose your application type if it rotary or linear. Now we will active the simulation. Now it is ready. Now we will configure our following axis. Add new axis, but it must be synchronous axis. Make the same steps in leading axis. Do not forget to select the first axis as leading axis in the following axis by following this steps. Go to leading value in a connections. Here choose your leading axis. We will use to mega column's power to enable our axe sizes. Here we will choose our leading axis and put one in enable to make our leading axis enabled. 
We will make the same with following axis. Add MC relative to control the leading axis. Now we will program the leading axis as a relative motion. Here choose you execution method. In our case, we will use marker 0.0. .0. In distance write your distance or position. In velocity put your speed, in our case, we put 50. In acceleration, deceleration and jerk put the same values in the video. Now we will add some markers in done, busy, status and error to show us if there is any error in the axis. Now we will use the motion control gear and block to synchronize the two axes. In master choose leading axis. In slave choose following axis. In execute put marker 0.0. .0. Ratio numerator and denumerator will define. The speed of the following axis according to leading axis. The mean when we put the retie in 1 to 1. Mean the following axis speed will be the same leading axis speed. Lurk, acceleration and deceleration will specify the dynamic values of the following axis. Download the program and now your program is ready. Now we will start our simulation. Here is the actual values of axes, leading axis and following axis. Now we will execute the leading axis. And we put the ratio between the two axis 1 to 1 so it will move 200 step and in the same velocity, as you see in the video.